Hey guys, welcome back to BT InfoSec. My name is BT and I'm going to be taking you through the installation of Splunk. Today's video, I'm going to be looking into downloading Splunk and taking you through the step-by-step -step you need to take to install Splunk. So first, of all, first and foremost, you have to open an account with Splunk, which I did already. Then you go over to the products and you go to free trials and downloads. So when that comes up, we are going to download this free Splunk Enterprise, which is the one you can download on-prem. Splunk also has the Splunk Cloud Platform. I'm going to be releasing another video um, of how you can set that up. It has a 14 days trial for the Cloud Platform, but today we're going to be downloading the Enterprise version on an Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu operating system. So this is coming up right now. There are different ways of how you can download this. You can either download this just by clicking the download button. So today we're going to be downloading the one for Linux. You can also install it on a Windows operating system. But today we're going to be installing it on an Ubuntu operating system. So you can either download this manually by clicking the download button, which is right here. The second way you can download this is by running it on a command line. So today I want to run it on a command line. That's what I want to do today. So it's going to ask me if I want to save it. That's the one I click on download. I'm going to click cancel on that. So just ask me that right now. I'm going to click cancel. So let's use the command line. So let's get a command right here. So I'm going to be adding these commands to the description box. Just so if you don't want to go through the stress of um, creating an account with Splunk, you could just copy the command from the description box and just paste it. So let's go over to our command line here. So I want to go to my downloads folder. Clear my screen. So I'm going to paste that command here. So now this is downloading. This is going to be pretty fast depending on how fast your, um, your internet is. But for me, I'm going to pause this video while this is downloading. Okay, so right now our Splunk is done downloading. So we can click the LS. So that's our Splunk right there. So the next thing we're going to do right now is to install Splunk. So we're going to use the command sudo apt install forward slash and we're just going to type SP and press the tab button to complete. Okay. You can either press the tab to complete. It should be able to complete. Okay. Oh, let me just copy it. doesn't want to do that. Let me just copy it from here. Oh, if I can spell install. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. That was my mistake. So now I'm clicking on this to install. So this is going to take a um, few minutes. Depends. You know, it could take, um, it could be faster, but I'm just going to pause this video just to make this quicker for you guys instead of wasting your time. Okay, so this is done installing. The next thing we're going to, let me just change, let me change to root user. So now I'm root, I'm going to clear my screen. So I'm going to change to the Splunk directory. So you're going to change directory to the Splunk directory. So you're going to do cd slash opt slash Splunk slash bin. So now that we're right here, so the next thing we want to do is to accept the Splunk license. So you type the command Splunk start dash dash accept dash license so here you have to click all the way down this might take some time so I'm just gonna pause the video okay so I just kept on pressing enter and I forgot that it's already done accepting the license so I'm gonna click yes 
So it says give us create a Splunk is a name. So I'm gonna make my BT infosec. And you're gonna put a password you can remember. So I'm gonna put my password. So it's confirm the password. Okay, so it's gonna run the necessary prerequisites. And when it's done, it's gonna say it's gonna start up the um, web server. So that's gonna take some time also, like maybe a few seconds or maybe a few minutes, depending on how fast that can start. But I'm gonna pause the video again, just to wait while that is done. Okay, so this waiting for the web server took a um, few minutes. But sometimes you might get this error. So it says, warning, web interface does not seem to be available. So sometimes the reason why this occurs is if maybe Splunk is not able to start automatically. So all you need to do is just run this command. Splunk start. Sometimes it works automatically, sometimes it doesn't. But we're just going to run this command. And it's going to run it all over again, but this time it's going to start Splunk. So this most likely is going to be faster. So I'm not going to pause the video, I'm going to wait. This is, this is most likely going to be faster. So now it's starting Splunk and it's going to give us a web interface. Yep, so I was right. That, would, that took faster. That went faster. So you see, if you get stuck, we're here to help. You can always go check the Splunk documentation, but for this, we're already given our web interface. So sometimes you might not get an error. It's not the time you get an error, but if you get an error, that's just the solution. So now we can go over to our web interface. So now you can use what it gave you or alternatively, you can use um, 127. 0.0.1 and you go port 8000. You can also use that to access Splunk because you know it's calling back to the itself. So it's the same thing. So you can either use this or you can use the one I was giving from the command line, which is the name of your virtual machine. So now you're going to log in with the username you created I'm going to put that again so do you want to save? nope okay and that is our Splunk running so while this is coming up there's one more thing you have to do you want to make sure so you click got it So you remind me in two weeks. So you want to make sure like when you turn off your VM and you turn it on again, you want to make sure Splunk start automatically. So we're going to run this command. So that way it's going to start up automatically. You don't need to run this Splunk start command again. So let's go we type the command Splunk enable boot start. And right there and there, it says it's going to um, start up automatically. So, so right now, you can minimize this. Come over to your Splunk. Your Splunk is running right now. You can go to search and reporting. We have no data in Splunk yet. I'm going to be coming up in another video of how you can upload data to Splunk manually. And I'm also going to come up in another video of how you can send data from a VM to Splunk. So I'm going to be coming up with another video of um, installing Universal Forwarder. Then you're going to be able to send data to Splunk. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. Please like this video. Please subscribe. Please share this with um, your friends, those who are interested in cybersecurity. I'm also going to be taking you through the usage of Splunk. I, I uploaded a video on a lab called Detection Lab. You can also take a look at that because I'm going to be doing some simulation in that lab. And I'm also going to be showing you how those can be detected using Splunk. Thank you very much today, guys. And thank you for joining me. Have a good one. Bye.